This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about somebody else who was good together. You know, lots of people are stuck at home right now. Uh, thankfully, a lot of us are actually abiding by that and staying home. Is there one tag match you can recommend on the network that people go check out? Like if you were going to sit down and watch a great tag match, what would you recommend that, that anybody check out? Oh gosh. Um, can I say us? Of course you can. Okay. I think, and it's because of, of those guys go, go back and watch any of the brain buster rocker matches. I know they have some from Madison square garden, the Boston garden, some different places. I think Hershey Saturday night main event when we're on our way out, uh, we're good. Um, I would suggest, and I haven't seen anything to say that it's there, but I would think if you've got some, some, uh, rockers and demolition, maybe, uh, midnight express did a great job with, uh, the road warriors as far as working with those guys, uh, Tully and I maybe from, uh, Chicago working with the road warriors. All were pretty good matches from my recollection. Let me give some dates here. March 11th, 1989. That's a Saturday night's main event against the rockers. It's March 11th, 1989. And then, uh, as you heard, Arn mentioned towards the end of 89, they did it one more time. That's September 25th, 1989. Also a Saturday night's main event. I think that's probably the more famous of the two. What do you think? I would think so. Yeah. So two out of three falls. Yes, sir. November 89 Saturday night's main event, two out of three falls. There's your tag match boys and girls. John Ryan wants to know, what are your thoughts on Kevin Dunn? Next. I like it. Uh, interesting question from Ben here. Any fun or interesting stories of working with the heart foundation and the WWF? I feel like we talk about demolition a lot. I feel like we talk about you know, the rockers a lot, but the heart foundation, uh, one of the, uh, the staples of the WWF tag team scene in the eighties, any good stories about working with those guys? I loved your SummerSlam match with them. I think that's the only time that we wrestled them. Really? I think so. I'm pretty sure that was it. And it was one time only, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and it was at a pivotal point in our existence. I think most people thought we were going to lose that match. Yes. Which always makes it nice. And uh, we had enough time. There's that that word again, having enough time. Uh, Neidhart was a steamroller. Brett was the technician. So uh, that's kind of the, the reflection in the mirror of what we tried to present. I was more the power guy. Tully was the technician. So from a perspective of analyst sitting down, calling that match, I would think he would have had plenty of stuff to work with. Um, I know we really enjoyed it and certainly enjoyed the outcome because most people didn't think that was going to happen. I love that match. And we should mention it. SummerSlam 89. It's the opening match on the show. They get more than 16 minutes. The little nuance stuff that you and Tully do just jumps off the screen. Uh, if you're an aspiring wrestler and you want to be a tag team wrestler, that's a great place to start. Uh, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.